Today we are going to look at notes for lesson 4-5, which begin on page 225, the coordinate plane. Vocabulary words you will learn, quadrants. And there are four quadrants we will look at today. I can recognize rational numbers and graph them in the coordinate plane. Coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is formed by the intersection of two number lines or axes that meet at right angles at the zero points. The intersection of these number lines separates the coordinate planes into four quadrants. Quadrant one, two, three, and four. And as you can see here, they go in a counterclockwise fashion, starting the upper right-hand corner. Quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. You can use the x, y, the x coordinates and the y coordinates to identify the quadrant in which the point is located. The axes or points on the axes such as negative three, zero, and zero, and five tenths are not located in any quadrants. Use what you know about the quadrant planes to complete this table using this so this i always like to look at quadrant one is positive positive quadrant two is negative positive because remember we have to go horizontally first number vertically second number quadrant three would be negative negative quadrant four would be positive, negative. So quadrant one, we go positive number, positive number. Quadrant two, negative number, positive number. Quadrant three, negative number, negative number. Quadrant four, positive number, negative number. So using that information down here in the bottom, we are going to take a look. So quadrant one is the first number is positive, the second number is also positive. Quadrant two, first the x coordinate, so that first number is negative. Second number is positive. Quadrant three, so this quadrant here, we have negative and negative. And quadrant four, we have a positive number and a negative number. So if we take a look at the x and y axis, if we take a look here, so the x axis, if we're looking at the x axis here, so the x axis is positive and we do not do anything with the y coordinate, so that would be zero. We have the y quadrant or I'm sorry, the y coordinate or axes. So the y is zero. I'm sorry, the x is zero, the y is positive. So I'm looking at this section here. So I'm looking at, I do not go to the left or right. So it's x is zero, but I go positive on the number line for the y coordinate. If I'm looking at negative and zero, this would be an X axis. So I would be looking at <clears throat> moving here on the X axis into zero, but not going positive or negative vertically. And the last one would be zero and negative, and that is the Y axis. So I would be looking right here and I would be saying, okay, I am not going to the left or right horizontally, but I am going in the negative numbers. How can you tell, over here on the side, talk about it. How can you tell in which quadrant the points two thirds and negative seven lie? So the first number is negative. Sec I'm sorry, first number is positive, second number is negative. So I would go over here and I could use the notes I put here or I could use the notes down here in the corner, and I could say first number is positive, 
second number is negative. So I could go through and look at my notes and say that a positive and a negative would be quadrant four, quadrant four, because I could go two thirds to the right and then negative seven. So quadrant four would be what I am looking at. Page 226, <clears throat> example one, it says, identify the quadrant in which the points negative three-fourths, one and one-half are located. So I'm taking a look and I'm saying, okay, you can use the signs X and Y coordinates to identify the quadrants because the X quadrant, which is the first number, is always for the X. That's always horizontal. Remember, we need to crawl before we can climb, or we need to walk or move the ladder before we need to climb the ladder. So we have an X coordinate that's negative and the Y coordinate is positive. So it would be in quadrant two. Check, identify the quadrant in which negative two and a half and negative two and a half would be located. So use, I can use this picture and I could say a negative and a negative. So I'm moving to the negatives on the horizontal number line or the x-axis and I am moving negative into the negative numbers on the y-axis. So I would say this would be quadrant three. Example two, identify the axes on which the point zero and two fifths would be located. So zero means I'm not moving left or right. I'm staying right on the Y axis. And two fifths means I am going above the zero. So into the positives. And I could say, I looked at each coordinate that has non-zero value and the Y coordinate. So that's the second one here, the Y coordinate is a non-zero value, so it lies on the y-axis. Identify the axis on which 25 hundredths and zero is located. So if I'm looking here at my picture, I have 25 hundredths, so I've moved to the right, and I do not go up or down, so I would be on the x-axis for this question. Going on to page 227. 227 at the top. Learn. Identify ordered pairs. To, to identify the ordered pair graphed on the coordinate plane, start at the origin. So I have the origin here is 0, 0. This is always the origin. The origin is 0, 0. So I start there. And I am looking at this coordinate here. So remember, we always do the left and right, the x-axis first. So I would go over to the left, one, two, three. I would go over to the left. So I, to identify the ordered pair, always start at the origin. And first move horizontally along the x-axis and counting the units. So I'm gonna, like I said, move one, two, three, and that's a negative three. So the x-axis is a negative three. And we're starting to fill in here what the two numbers would be for the coordinates. Next, move vertically towards the point. So I've moved over three, so it's a negative three, and then I would move vertically. So I would move one, two, three, four places up. And so my y-coordinate would be four. So the ordered pair for this point here, as it is already indicated, would be negative three, four, because this is the X, this is the Y. The X always comes first, just like in the alphabet. The X always comes first. Going on to page 228. Page 228, example three. Identify ordered pairs. Identify the ordered pair that po names point D. 
So if I'm looking at point D, point D is right here. So if I'm looking at point D, start at the origin, which is the 0, 0, where the two axes cross. And I would need to move, oh, look at this. I have extra lines in between. So that means each line, each unit would indicate one half. So one half, one, one and a half, two. To the left would be negative a half, negative one, negative one and a half, negative two. Then I would take a look. So it says, how many move, do I move to the right? So I move one and a half. So I'm going to move one and a half units to the right on the x axis. Then I am going to look at <clears throat> how do I need to move vertically. So I'm going to move below and go down into the negatives. So of negative one half, negative one. So the x coordinate for d would be one and a half fill that in, and I'm going to move down one unit, so the y-coordinate would be negative 1. And as you can see, this would be the ordered pair. So let's look at the check here. They're asking us to look for the coordinates for b. So I am going to move over 1 half, 1, 1 and a half. So I'm going to move negative 1 and a half, and then I'm going to move down half, negative half, negative one. So my ordered pair for point B would be negative one and a half, negative one. Continuing on on page 229 at the top, identify points. You can identify a point graphed on the coordinate planes using the X and Y coordinates. The X coordinates indicate how far left or right to move from the origin. The Y coordinate indicates how far up or down to move from the origin. So identify the point graphed at negative 2, 4. So I'm going to start horizontally. The first number is negative 2. So I would go two places over to the left. And then 4 is a positive 4, so I'm going to go up four places. One, two, three, four. So this would be point P would be the negative two, four on this graph. Because the X coordinate is negative, move two units to the X axis. So I did that. Because the Y is positive, I move up four. So I move over and I move up. I move over to up four. So point P is located at negative two, four. Continuing on on page 230, example four. Identify points located at negative two, one half. Okay, so start at the origin. Because the X coordinate is negative, I'm going to move how many units to the left, I'm going to move two units to the left on the x-axis. Then move up, so I'm going to move two units, not necessarily these half, but it's a half, one, one and a half, two, and then move up one unit, I'm sorry, one half unit, because the y coordinate is now located at r. So negative two and a half and one half, I would move over one, negative one half, negative one, negative one and a half, negative two, and then move up a half. Check. Identify the points at negative, I'm sorry, identify the points at one half, negative two. So I'm going to go over, it's a positive, so I would go to the right, one half, and then the second number is a negative, so I'm going to go down two. So at this point, I would say that S, point S, is, is one half negative two. Continuing on, 
on page 231. Graph ordered pairs. You, to graph ordered pairs, place a dot at the point that corresponds to the coordinates. You can graph a point on the coordinate plane using the x and y axis. So they want us to graph negative 4, 3. So what they are saying we should do is negative 4, 3. So I'm doing horizontally. So I'm going to move to the right four places. And then I'm going to move, because 3 is positive, I'm going to move up. So I move over 4 and up 3. And at this point in time, I could say this point A is negative 4, 3, because I went over 4 and went up 3. Going on to page 232, example 5, ordered pairs. Graph N is negative 2 and a half, negative 3 and a half. So here we go. We're graphing N at negative 2 and a half. So I'm going to start at the origin. And I'm going to move over two and a half. And if I look at this number line for x axis, I see there's a space in between two and three with a line. So I'm moving over two and a half. And it says negative three and a half. So I'm going to move down three and a half. So I moved over to mark in to indicate between negative two and negative three. And I'm moving down to three and a half. So this, I would move over and then down. Here's my point. And this is point N, point N. So the X coordinate is I move two and a half units left along the X axis. And next on the Y axis, I would move three and a half units. And I put my dot there to indicate N. Check. Graph M, four and a half, negative one. So I'm going to look at this and it's a positive four and a half. So I'm going to go over on my number line to four and a half. So four and a half places one, two, three, four and a half. And I'm going to go negative one. So I'm going to go down negative one. This would be my point and I'm going to call it M, point M. Page 233 at the top, um, apply maps. I'm going to stop there because that is one that you can do and we will do in class.